Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Illegal alien killed husband and two small children. Judge gives him special gift. The Democrats want you to believe everyone coming over from South America and Mexico is law-abiding people who only wanted to come to America illegally to create a better life for themselves. This might be true for a small portion of them, but the majority only want one thing: free everything. This is the reality, and Democrats know that. This is why Democrats have chosen illegals over Americans this November. What's even sadder is Democrats are willing to sacrifice the safety of American children by supporting the dismantling of ICE and scaling back deportations all to score political points so they can try and take back the House and Senate. Choosing illegals of Americans is a new low for the left, but it's not surprising. Over the last 10 years, Democrats have thrown the American people under the bus, called them racist, bigots, and hillbillies if they didn't support Barack Obama's progressive agenda. His agenda has caused more harm to America than good. Illegals murdering and raping women and children have increased, and homegrown terrorism has skyrocketed. The left has one agenda, and that's open borders. They believe everyone is welcome regardless of their background or nationality. Now, another family has been affected by the left's attack on our immigration laws. A widow whose husband and two youngest children were killed by an illegal immigrant is fighting to see stricter punishment for the killer, who got only two years in prison. Courtney Hacking's husband Peter. Four-year-old daughter Ellie and 22-month-old son Grayson died instantly when an illegal immigrant without a driver's license drove head-on into their car on March 31, 2016. Margarito Quintero Rosales pleaded guilty last week and was sentenced to two years. How do you look at someone and say you killed three people? Two years is all, Hacking said, saying she feels the justice system failed her. To me, being illegal in this country was a crime on its own, she said. They commit a larger crime and they get a slap on the wrist and they get to go home. The widow said she is afraid people will accuse her of being racist against Hispanics, but she said the pain of losing her family would be the same had it been a citizen who killed them. I want to see those laws enforced and I want to see stricter punishment, she said of her goals. Hacking's husband was an immigrant who came legally from England. Hacking says she gets her strength these days from her four sons, all she has left of her family. Fox News. The left doesn't see being here illegally as a crime. They see that as an opportunity to gain voters, so they can stay in power. It's pretty pathetic to know our elected officials would rather score political points than save a family from being attacked, or even worse, murdered. I'm sure they will blame white privilege. It's been said that white privilege has caused these illegals and Islamic terrorists to act out in violence, and that's perfectly fine as long as they're targeting white people. He was here illegally. He drove illegally. He was working illegally, and he killed three innocent people. No matter how you look at it, still murder," said Hacking. Hacking delivered that message in a Collin County courtroom after Rosales received the maximum two-year sentence for criminally negligent homicide. Criminal defense attorney Toby Shook says a longer sentence would require proving an intent to kill. If it's just an accident, then the state has to prove criminal negligence, which is a much higher standard," said Shook. It hurts just as much today as the day it happened. Said Hacking. Hacking says she's working with federal lawmakers to make immigration status an aggravating factor that can enhance punishments for deadly crimes. She's worried that Rosales will sneak back into the U.S. after he's released from jail and deported next year. What's he going to do this time? Is it going to hold up a bank because he's in this country right now and all we've ever done is slap him on the wrist? She said. CBS News. A slap on the wrist is all this illegal criminal received after he murdered three innocent lives. The left celebrates this kind of demonic actions because they feel sorry for the illegal alien who's here because he's fleeing harm from his native country, and we're supposed to give them a pass and tell them not to do it again. This is the equivalent of feminist posting signs telling people not to r e e each other as they march down the street stopless. Democrats in Washington D.C. have no decency or respect for the United States Constitution or its people. They believe laws can be passed based on feelings alone and what's good for everyone. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.